All right, all of you sweet tooths out there, this is Johnny Mac with the Sauce and Gravy Channel. Let's dive into a topping sauce. How does a butterscotch sauce sound? Pretty good, right? Well, let me quickly show you how to make it. Let's begin, shall we? This recipe, it's super easy. Six ingredients. Start off with four tablespoons or 56 grams of unsalted butter. That's a quarter of a cup. Gradually melt that butter down in a sauce pot over medium heat. For all of those out there that have never tried a butterscotch sauce, it's rich, it's dynamic, it's also very easy to make, and it's very similar to a caramel sauce. The main difference is the sugar. For this recipe, I'm using 3 quarters of a cup of dark brown sugar, 150 grams. For a caramel sauce, you would use granulated white sugar. Stir the brown sugar into the butter over medium heat, and then add half of a teaspoon of lemon juice, freshly squeezed. So here's the lowdown on the cooking process for this butterscotch sauce. At first, the butter and the sugar will combine, become somewhat smooth, but the sugar will not be fully dissolved. Then all of a sudden, you'll think, oh my gosh, I'm not doing it right. The sauce, it'll look, for lack of better words, clumpy and lumpy, and it will not be that smooth anymore. But don't worry. Don't give up. Keep stirring. After about 5 to 10 minutes, everything will start to come back together. It'll become more of a liquid, and it'll smooth out, and you're on your way to making a perfect topping sauce. So check it out, this is what it should look like. The sugar should be dissolved and everything nice and smooth. Then you can move on to the next step. Break out a whisk and half of a cup of heavy cream. That's 125 milliliters, pour it in. And watch out, it'll spit, it'll sputter. It will try to burn you, of course, but don't let it. Make sure that you're careful as possible and keep whisking. That brown sugar is gonna try to be nasty. It's gonna try to lump up on you, but you don't let it. You show it who's boss, keep stirring, and it'll gradually mix into the sauce. Congratulations, now you've made it through the hard part. You have a silky smooth sauce. Now it's time for you to add some additional ingredients to infuse it with some flavor. First you'll add half of a teaspoon of vanilla, in it goes. And last but not least, a little salt. Dash will do you, maybe two. The heat is off, but give it a mix or two just to try to dissolve that salt into the sauce. Let's give it a look-see, shall we? Check how rich and dark and delicious this is. I sure hope that you try it out. And here you go with the final step. Pour it into a bowl so that it can cool off and become thick. Then you'll be ready to drizzle it on some desserts like ice cream, some cake, put it on crepes, pour it over some peanuts, some walnuts, dip apples, figs, pears in it, smother some waffles or pancakes with it. You name it, your options are endless. Well, thank you for watching. If you found this recipe helpful, hit that like button. And if you're not a part of the sauce and gravy community just quite yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button to stay tuned to the latest and greatest sauce making tips and techniques.